Uh, okay, so I shaved my head because it was hair donation day uh, to support people with cancer. And that's what happened over here. And last time, last time I found the alien installations. These things. I found uh, the one in the uh, inactive lava zones. And now I'm, I found the, the entry into this one. Also, I have this. This. The volcanic rock that has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years ago. That was in the in the lava zone. Exercise caution when handling radioactive materials. Exposure risks corrupting your PDA's recording of the circumstances of your death. I don't remember where I found that. And I also found a sea dragon leviathan. Which is huge and it shoots fire. It's very dangerous. A colossal leviathan with reptilian features seen stalking the very heart of the volcanic crater which underpins life in this area. The scanned specimen measures 112 meters in length. Heat proof tissue. Those in Tissue analysis reveals this specimen consists of one third in animate materials focused around the chest area. Consumption and retention of mineral substance may explain the life form's ability to withstand extremes of temperatures. It even appears to be able to consume molten materials and expel them at its adversaries. Forearms. Evolutionary distinct forearms are used for both propulsion and offensive purposes. Findings suggests evolutionary divergence from other species on the planet tens of millions of years ago. The sea dragon is likely one of the oldest species on the planet. Behavior. As the largest carnivorous species encountered on 4546b, almost everything is potential prey. With few substantial targets in the volcanic cave system, the sea dragon likely ventures out into cooler waters to hunt other smaller leviathans, cornering them and forcing them deeper, where they are ultimately boiled alive. The sea dragon's size and restrictions of the cave systems they inhabit suggest the, the population numbers are extremely low, perhaps in the single digits. While it is not unusual for large predators to sustain lower populations, it is possible the sea dragon's food sources have diminished over time. The species may be nearing extinctions. Extreme threat avoided at all costs. Okay, let's see what's over there, shall we? This is supposed to be alien containment. Uh, I need to switch out. Switch out the inventory on this thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. No. Switch out the upgrade so I can use the regular arm. pick up these things. Thank you. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Oh. Okay. And that's the green tablet. No? Specimen research data. Integrating new PDA data. Specimen research data. What does it say? Okay, specimen research data. A catalogue of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference the common peeper, shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Shows symptom remissions on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly recur. Mm. Shows advanced learning behaviors, shows some capacity to transmit enzyme to other specimens. Adult specimen Leviathan embryos. Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens required from nesting site. Embryos show no signs of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. 
small sample of eggs have been retained for continued highly prior high priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanisms. Also, I forgot I want to thank Legend of Leveran and Oridim for following this channel. Thank you very much for your help. Um, large carnivore theta. Off-site lab established to study remains. Shows some potential for immunity to infection that physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned designator C. Emperor. Bone samples from Emperor specimens indicate some potential for Cara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose built continued facility constructed in volcanic region, depth 1.4 kilometers. I'm almost there. Assessment. While it is unlikely that Emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the aliens' as attempts to develop a vaccine. Okay. Okay. Cube. I can make another tablet, right? To make a tablet. To make a tablet. Where is it? I know how to make a tablet. There it is. One iron cube, two diamonds. Oh, damn it. I can't fit in here. Okay. Egg. Sea dragon egg. Cool. Cool. Rib cage. Rib cage samples. I can barely see anything. Ray specimens. Ray specimens. Okay. This thing has been beaten to shit. Data. Damage report. Ooh, what the hell is that? I would like that. I would like to refill my oxygen tank. And re rehydrate. There's nothing dangerous around here. Wait, it's open? It's open. Skeletal remains. Remains of research specimen. Another ribcage. Why are my hands sweaty? The thing is big. Okay, what else do we have? This is blocked. Is this a tablet? No. Biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Okay. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Tell me about it. Holy crap, look at my hands! Biological matter. 
water pots. What else? What else? More stuff. Warbear. Self warping quarantine enforcer unit. Yeah, they need to keep that thing from teleporting away. Nothing else of interest. Okay. You can need to go make another tablet. Okay, let's get out of here. The iron cube, and I want to go out for a bit to look at all these things. Okay, it's over there. thing I think I can take the Cyclops in here. Thank you. How are we doing on power? No radio signal? Give me storage. Put it in storage. Wait, I have three tablets? What the hell did I get three tablets? Okay, put the torpedo arm in. On Vortex. Do we have any more Vortex? Yes. Yeah, one too much. Okay, all my equipment is ship ship shape. How do I? Where will I get decoys? Health is okay, energy is okay. Yeah, energy is fine. The repair tool is at last. Switch out the repair tool. Okay, now what do we have? Bacterial infection report. You have been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream, estimated incubation time to weeks. Your immune system is currently combating the infection at low eff efficacy. 
You may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. This will likely be exacerbated at the bacterium as the bacterium takes hold. Your immediate priority should be abatement and eradication of the infection. Recommended steps. Salvage further alien research data on a possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhabit the symptoms of the infection. Inhibit the symptoms of the infection. Ray species. Different species of ray indigenous to 4546b, each adapted to different environments. Specimens are 99.99% genetically identical to those encountered on the planet today, suggesting that rays in particular have undergone little evolutionary mutation in the past millennium. Ghost rays, jelly rays, crimson rays, and rabbit rays likely all share a common evolutionary ancestor. The alpha ray would have evolved deep in the ocean trenches, quickly growing in line with available food supplies. It would have most resembled the ghost ray in size and appearance with translucent skin, for camouflage and forward-mounted eyes for hunting. A fast and fearsome stalker of small creatures in the dark. While some rays have stayed within the limits of the cave systems where they first evolved, others are relatively more recent adaptations to new environments, likely the results of overpopulation. All of the rays on 4546b have given up predation in favor of herbivorous scavenging and use poisonous flesh to protect themselves. Sea Dragon Egg this large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying and incubation process. To what end is unclear. Self warping quarantine enforcer. This life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. The brain and central nervous systems have been digitally augmented with advanced processing power and remote communications. Programmable hunter-killer. Over parts. The organic parts on display contain DNA from dozens of different organisms, largely originating off-world. They are in varying states of augmentation with advanced technologies. This production line setup suggests these self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens that designed this facility. Damage report. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system buckling. Facility sinking. Collision with sea floor. Breaches detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen de destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. Infected individuals may not leave the planet. I guess that was the sea dragon. Car contagion profile. This terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Cara. Discovery first encountered during routine network expansion on other worlds. Pandemic development. Network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed death. 143 billion. Bacterial mechanisms attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Symptoms stage 1. Gradual immune systems failure. Stage 2. Green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms. Stage 3. Unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Stage 4. Complete shutdown of executive function. Emergency steps taken. Core walls quarantine. Bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. Treatment procedure? Unknown. The thermal power facility I found, the disease research facility I found, Sanctuary A, B, and offsite. I think I found the offsite laboratory too. And I'm still missing the other three. Fauna, deceased, remains of research specimen. What the hell was that? The skeletal remains of a vast predator housed within an artificial habitat. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life. 
though it has since decayed. When the facility collapsed, this specimen was either left to die or killed on the spot. While it shares some skeletal traits with the biter and sand shark, including its distinctive double eye sockets, this fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms rarely seen in aquatic species, like the sea dragon. The species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years, and its evolutionary relatives have evolved almost beyond recognition. A display case containing an array of rib cages harvested from the indigenous life forms. There is a particular focus in this instance on vertebrate skeletal structures. While some of these skeletons match organisms encountered on the planet so far, most cannot be matched with confidence, suggesting either that there are species out there not yet accounted for, or that they have become extinct since these samples were collected. Uh, switch the lights. And let's get. No, I don't want to go down there. Turn the lights on. I'll take my pawn. Here we go again. Gosh, damn it. Stop clicking unnecessarily. Oh, now I can see. Steady. Steady. Orange lab. Yeah, I need the orange tablet to access it. So right now, I'm going for... the lava zones. Direct access to the lava zones. Bam! Do not step in the lava. Okay, this is the alien facility. Right ahead. Where is it? There it is. Oh, that's the lab. the entrance to this place. I think it's down there. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's go. Holy crap. That looks hot. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. How the hell do I access storage? Did you vomit that at me? How about... I remove this for a regular arm and then I can grab eggs. Okay, where is the downstairs?
crystalline sulfur. Sure. Tuned and locked thermal activity. Okay, the entrance is on the other side. For some reason. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Hi. Thermal facility. Fine, I'll open it. Whoa! There's air in here. What is this? Blue tablet. What is blue tablet? And Cuban kyanite. Okay. Let's keep going with the pawn. Nice. You're creeping me out, dude. Hang on, I need to equip uh, uh, an arm. No, I want to access upgrades. Give me one drill arm and let's drill this son of a bitch. That's a lot of iron cubes. Thank you. Is that a gate? It's a gate. There's a gate. Uh, give me a few of those iron cubes. And I'll find out. Insert iron cube. It's a gate! Uh... Heading to the city 158. I uh, just went over a kilometer. Yep. I hope it just stays open. Wait, is this? It is. It's the alien facility. The disease one. The, the cannon. Yep, it was that little thing. Cool. Wait, so where did I come from? Come on, don't get stuck on me. Huh, I haven't even looked in here. Uh, move! Lab? 14.23, one way. 
Oh, okay. So that's a cool gate. Well, you're stuck. Red is not a good sign. That's another entrance. Okay. At least I know a shortcut now. Come on. Oh, it still fits. Good. More data. I want more data. Come on. Fossil data. Integrating new PDA data. There's the orange tablet. Wait, that's the status one. I want this one. What the hell are those things? What PDA data? Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far in 4546b, which means genetic engineering. Uh, soil samples from 10,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentration of organic remains than, a, than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event killing off a majority of species and forcing rapid adaptation amongst many of the survivors. Mm. Are you going to help me? Okay. I want to scan you then. Alien robot. It looks like a replicator from Stargate. Primary containment facility. What can I get? Can I? Say what? Volcanic area connected to this cave system south southeast of this position. Yeah, the active volcanic zone. Turn out that this place has air. Ion power data. Thank you. I'm out of here. Come on. Don't get stuck. Okay. Let's review. What's new? Ion battery and ion power cell. Cool. That's what I need for the next stage of the rocket. Alien robot. 
threat level minimal. This device is of alien origin, although its design is relatively simple. Its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow it to traverse floors, walls, and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are few moving parts, rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable iron-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. Immobilize and return to Altera for mutual profit. Hmm... Alien thermal plant. This system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at 90% efficiency. Most of this energy is being stored in the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough power to for a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it is distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and, given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. So how do I stop it? It has been possible to extract useful information regarding alien iron power. Iron cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an iron cube in an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. Primary containment facility. A power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. Primary containment facility local location updated, constructed within a natural chasm, connected to this cave network, south southeast, area of volcanic activity, one point depth one point four kilometers. Self-opening for quarantine enforcement units, 5% arc network, 10% arches. And sanctuaries, Alpha, Beta, Kappa, 10%, quarantine enforcement platform, 35%, disease research facility, offline. Hmm. Primary contained facility, 20%, reserve, 20%. There's no clear way to interrupt the power flow. But that's what I need to do to get off the planet. Let's go to the lab. Uh, excuse me, you're in the way. AL2 SI05. I wonder if this thing is real. Okay, I'm headed in the wrong way. I need to go north. Ah, hi! Excuse me then. Okay, north to the land before I hit the, the lava zones. Okay. North, slightly northeast. Wait, there's two of them? 
I think there's two of them. Up, up, up. Okay. The lab. Quartz. No, I don't need any quartz at the moment. Also, switch out this arm. Um, I don't have an orange tablet yet. That's not helping me. Maybe I should just go back to the deep zones. Let's go back to the lava zones. But I should probably repair first. I said repair first. Okay. Down we go. Okay, there's entry over here. See ya! Oh yeah, this is hot. Getting hot up in here. Down in here. Warper in here. I don't want to mess with you, don't you mess with me. Hi. Damn, that's hot. Hi. What? That's kyanite, right? Let's close a bit. Okay, I need to get to those things. What's that? That looks like a big old nothing. Hi. 
Hi. I'm coming. I am what you see. Want to help you. Thank you. That's the primary containment facility, I'm guessing. Now keep me on the active lava zone. Hello. The heat is rising. Okay. Two arches. Was the dragon? I don't see it. Okay. I can hear it. There it is. What are those things? Okay, I guess that's where I go in. Water shield. Blue tablet. Not going anywhere with my pawn. Yeah, this is 1400 meters. Not ominous at all. Thank you, Gaming Granny, for following. Okay, that's a big place. So what did you say? Uh, translating local and broadcast warning vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. According to translated data logs, an indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Kara bacterial infections in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the lifeform's environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine have been unsuccessful.
Sea Emperor. Sea Emperor Fetus. Found preserved in display case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Stunted tissue development suggests the organisms expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in this specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Damn. So I need a live one. The emperor egg casing. The shell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive gestation period. This leviathan species may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. A size incision suggests a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for study. It is also possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital conditions for the infant to hatch naturally was not met. This is so sad. This is also very sad. Alien building block. This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts and there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may have been fundamental building block of the aliens' technology, or even the aliens themselves. Tracking implant. This construct is emitting high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmission intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546b. Its size suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may also have recorded biological data on the subject, however this data cannot be retrieved. Organic Matter Particulator. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. It's a neutron bomb. Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhibitation. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. No shit. Nanobots. Scans show some form of advanced nanobot inside this seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation, and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. Yeah! Translation device. This device stores linguistic data for over 1,000 different languages. <gasps> ah! Yeah, not immobilizing it anytime soon. Where was I? 
The color of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Analysis of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages in the term CHPC Live. It appears many times in the device's data. Its import is unclear. The device seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around. That sucks. <laughs>